to? Fixing the church roof. I'm doing it as a favour on the cheap. Ah, oh, right, as a favour. So she grosses you up to her old mates and, and you start doing her favours. It's called being community minded. You? We should try it sometime. Oh, come on, it must be some sort of deal. She changed the statement and you start skivvying for her. No, if you're not doing anything, why don't you put some overalls on? You can give me a hand. Oh, it's, uh, it's pre-op, actually. Oh, right, yeah. How is she? Yeah, you know what she's like. And how are you doing? Fine. I just want to get it over with. Look, she'll be all right. Give her my love, won't you? I'll be up to see her after. Hiya. I've been trying to call. Oh, I've had my phone on silent. Hey, no crutches. No, no, I um, surrendered them this morning. <laughs> I was going to get a head start on Bible study, and I just wondered if you had any passages in mind. Yeah. Great. I... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, pop by the vestry at lunchtime. That'd be nice. You can uh, join Emma in a Bible study. Later, then. I've got a service in a care home, hospital visits. <sighs> I'll book an appointment, shall I? Don't be like that. I've got the day off tomorrow. Oh. Best I can do. I'm picking up some parts in Newcastle tomorrow. Looks like we've had it then. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. That's such a wonderful mm. verse. The whole chapter and, and the ending. Yet none of them received what had been promised. That's such a powerful message. Look, I won't be a sec. I just need to go and speak to Kane about the roof. But I thought it was mended. Yeah, won't be long. Funny car, Rom. I'm going there next, assuming I can shape St. Teresa up. I would rather be with you, funnily enough. Glad to hear it. No, no, not here, not here, not here. You haven't started writing me love letters. There's a hotel booking for tomorrow. I decided the spare parts could work. Got a mate who works there, got us a cheap deal. <laughs> no more uh, sneaking around here then, eh? I look forward to it. Not very glamorous. <laughs> well, even Vickers get a day off. Oh, yeah, going anywhere nice. Nipping into town, nothing special. I was rereading that passage again last night. Mm. It made sense when you went through it, only when I read it a bit more, it seemed so unfair. I mean, why not give them what they'd been promised? Why would God do that? Because that's not what faith's about. You know, if you're struggling, sometimes it's a good idea to take a break from it. Yeah, maybe. Only it's my confirmation soon, and I want to make sure that I've got the Lord's words coursing through me. Can you spare an hour? Sure. Maybe a bit of Bob's chocolate cake will give us inspiration. <laughs> Certainly livens the place up. Kerry railroaded him into it. Brenda thinks it's a work of literary genius. Got a box full of them back here. Don't suppose it's going to interest you. Not sure that Bishop would approve. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> Morning, mate. Looks like sitting in the cafe on your own to me. It must just in the loo. She'll be back in a second. Right, let's get out while we can, then. Come on. I'm not walking out on her. You'll just have to wait. Or is it one of these pay-by-the-hour places? Give me some credit. I've gone to a lot of trouble to sort this. Phone in a mate. Do you know what? Forget it. Copies of your Bob. Bob, I don't think you should have books like this on display. Do you have to stick your nose into everything? Some of the church groups like to come here after their meetings. It's meant to be a family establishment. I'll take a copy. <sighs> of the book? Of this book? There you go, Emma. Make yourself out.
Where did you find it? I uh, found it under a pile of Bibles. You want to be glad that Emma didn't find it. She left it in the cafe. I didn't want it going to waste. If anyone can hear me... <sighs> Not again. Is that Emma? Emma? Harriet? I've been locked in. No, it's just stuck. It's always doing it. Oh, I know what happened. Thank you. Well, I should have warned you. It's always banging shut, you know, if there's a gust of wind. But it was locked. But you've had a nasty shock. Why don't you go home and get those boys to make you a nice copper? Yeah. yeah I suppose so. Um, thanks again. <sighs> what the hell were you thinking? I don't know. No, actually, I do. She's a stuck-up cow who thinks she's better than everybody else since she's found God. No, actually, she was like that before she found God, so well, you're not to blame. It was petty and dangerous. <sighs> yeah, but it uh, got off your back for a bit, though, didn't it? Mind you, she was knocking out some right prayers from in there. I bet she'd be giving it the miracle of the cupboard for weeks oh, now, won't don't. she? Don't. It's not kind. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but Cain isn't as bad as everyone thinks. He's got a kinder side. Mm, yeah, no. You're right, you do sound crazy. This is Cain Dingle. He's a criminal. Oh, what a gorgeous one. <laughs> Joke, I think. <laughs> you don't know him. Before you moved to the village... I've heard he... all the stories and I've told myself I'm being an idiot a hundred times, but... Oh, then he looks at me with those big brown eyes. I really fancy him. There, I've said it. And I know you're worried. Oh, do you blame me? And I'm not daft. I know it's just a bit of fun. It sounds a bit more serious to me. I'm making the most of it while it lasts. Because at least when I'm with him, I feel something and instead of just feeling numb all the time. Well, I didn't know you felt like that. Maybe I was too scared to admit it to myself. Told myself I've kept plodding on. Life would kick in. You see, the truth is, I haven't been with anyone, you know, physically, since Ashley. I just withdrew into my shell and focused on work. Maybe this is what all that's about, you know. You're grieving Ashley and you're trying to do something reckless to compensate. Maybe I am. But whatever is going on, all I know is it feels good when I'm with Cain. And I intend to make the most of that. I'm not a love-struck teenager, if that's what you're worried about. No, I never said that. You don't have to. It's written all over your face. Look, I, I don't want to stick my nose in where it's not wanted. Then trust me, I'm a big girl. Look, I know this is all a bit out there, and maybe I am grieving over Ashley, but at least this takes my mind off that, makes me feel wanted. By Kane Dingle. There's more to him than meets the eye. Even talk of a proper date tonight, so who knows, after choir practice, I might be the one who tames him. Not that I'd want to. Morning, me. Hi there. Hello. Uh, Arthur asked me to put his sketchbook somewhere safe till he gets back from school. Not that he won't be distracted by rattles. <laughs> oh, yeah. Arthur's looking after the school hamster for the night. We thought it would be good, to, you know, for him to focus on something else. I know how he feels. I should go. Oh, if you're round later, Arthur could show his design for Ashley's window. It's going to be epic, apparently. Oh, he's got the right attitude to seize the day. You never know what's round the next corner. What? Nothing. I saw Harriet earlier. So? Last thing she needs is you messing her about. Oh, is that right? And why, why would I do that? I know about you and her. And you just couldn't help sticking your nose in? No, I just don't want to see her getting hurt, really. 
Jesse needs to stop getting him out to give me grief. She doesn't know I'm here. None of this is down to her. So why the interrogation? What, is this some kind of jealous mates thing? You're jealous because she's getting some? No wonder I'm worried about her when you talk like that. She might seem like she knows what she's doing, but it's all a front cane. OK, thanks. I'll bear that in mind next time I'm with her in the vestry. Yeah, I care about her, OK? So why don't you back Do yourself off? a favour and stay out of it. So, still too busy to see me. I was looking forward to hitting some uh, pretty high notes with you last night after choir practice. I was in the mood for singing. Neither was I. So no explanation for standing me up? Look, I just said, what more do you want? Hang on. How about I go back and we start this conversation again? How about we don't, eh? Whatever this was, me and you, I think we need to put a line through it. What? Sorry, has something happened I don't know about? Don't make this any harder than it has to be. I just get bored easily. <laughs> oh, I was boring you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, you don't need to apologise. I'm not worth it. I know that, Kane. I've just worked it out all by myself. No, no, hang on. You're not being straight with me. And I think I'm worth the truth. My dad and Lisa are going to be back soon. So get to the point. Maybe the vicar thing did wear off. I suppose every tourist gets bored of the scenery eventually, right? Listen, Harriet, I... I know you don't owe me anything, but I would really appreciate if what happened between us stays between us. Yeah. Me and you in the local mouth. Who? Laurel? Well, she's the only one who knows, and it's not like she's going to say anything. She said enough yesterday. She spoke to you. What about? Ask her. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You and me, we're all good, and then suddenly she speaks to you and that's it, we're done. She actually frightened you off. Lovely, sweet, gentle Laurel frightens off Big Bad Cane Dingle. You paint the picture how you want, but it wasn't like that. You know what, I think I'll, I'll just go now. Right, I'll walk you out. No need. Anyway, it must be a struggle for you to walk without a spine. <laughs>